Minerva here and today I've got a great fabric haul video for you. We're going to be talking about gorgeous prints with all those spring summer makes. As you can see we've got quite a lot of fabrics to go through so it's definitely a good idea to save this video for you to re-watch again and again just in case you can't quite remember all that we look at during this video. There's a range of fabrics, different types and lots of different types of prints and patterns as well. So there is literally something for everyone. We've got some nice drapey fabrics. We've got this gorgeous silky fabric, which is definitely one of my favourites. And I'm already planning on just what I could make with this. And we've got lots and lots of cotton, lightweight cotton fabrics which is a really nice breathable fabric, perfect for our spring summer wardrobe. So we're going to have a closer look at these now and please don't forget to upload anything onto your Minerva profile that you make in these fabrics because we do love to see just what it is you are doing. So let's now have a closer look at these gorgeous prints and talk a little bit about how we could use them for our spring summer makes and hopefully fill you with lots of inspiration. Now I'm going to start with some of the probably the brightest and boldest prints that we've got in this fabric haul. This one is a Jardin cotton sateen and it's a stretch so it's got a slight stretch to it, not a huge amount but a little bit of stretch and as you can see it's got these gorgeous blues and purples and then just a flash of yellow parrots on there. So like I said that's a really bright bold print and it is slightly heavier weight cotton so it holds its structure really well. The other one that's similar sort of weight fabric to this is this Soft France Anaya cotton duck fabric so again it's a heavier weight cotton um quite a nice thickness to hold its structure so things like um a cali shirt dress would be really great in this kind of fabric um so it's quite structured with the, with the collars um and again really all over prints now what i love about these really big busy prints is that it doesn't matter so much about pattern matching there's no obvious repeat and because there's so much going on it doesn't really matter where you cut and join your fabric because you can see it just all blends in together really nicely so that's definitely a bonus for me when it comes to cutting out for um for patterns and don't forget if you love these so i love these bold colours and bright patterns but if you've never worn anything like this before you don't necessarily have to make clothes so when we're talking about spring summer it could be um, you can make some really nice accessories to go with your outfits so bags for example so these um, prints if you love them but you're not sure about wearing them why about why don't you make something like the noodle head Run around bag, for example, for those days out, and Simplicity have got some really nice bag patterns too, which are displayed on the screen now for you. And because they are a heavier, slightly heavier weight fabric, they are perfect for bag making because you want that little bit of extra strength as well. So that's a good way of using these fabrics if you're unsure of actually wearing them as an outfit. Um, Using them as an accessory, really nice way to get some bright, bold prints into your spring summer makes. Now, just in case some of the bold, bright prints aren't for you, we have got some really gorgeous, solid colours in this haul as well today. And this is an 100% linen, it's stonewashed 100% linen fabric. So it's um, a sort of aqua, aqua colour, light aqua colour. And linen is a really nice spring summer fabric. Uh, linen trousers, even again the Calais shirt dress and something like this might be um, quite 
quite nice. Um, although it is sort of a, quite a heavy fabric, it drapes really nicely as well, as you can see there. So again, spring summer doesn't necessarily have to be bright bold prints. If you want to tone it down, you can do with the linen um, type fabrics as well. So we've got a couple of other um, sort of plainer toned down fabrics as well to look at if the bright bold prints aren't for you, such as this polyester seersucker. Again, this is a really lightweight fabric, so summer dresses would be absolutely perfect, really breathable, probably wouldn't even notice you're wearing it. Um, I've seen some really nice wraparound dresses in this. Um, and also something like little baby dungarees would be really cute in this striped seersucker. Because of course children need to keep really cool when it's on those hot summer days. Bird would do a really nice cute dungarees pattern that I can definitely see um, my youngest in. So like I said there is a mixture in this stash <laughs> that we're going through, some brights and some more toned down so like I said there is something for everyone. I'm going to have a look now at some uh, John Calder fabrics. Now this is another cotton sateen, but it's a lighter weight than the parrots that we saw and it's got a nice, it's a bit more of a silky feel to it, much lighter weight, you can see it's getting a bit more floaty, drapey type fabric. So this is part of the John Calder Lozano collection and because it's got this darker background and darker blues in it, it is a um, a bold pattern but it's not quite so bright so if you're just venturing into these kind of fabrics and maybe this is a quite a good one to start with because it's not quite so bright and bold as some of the others. The other John Calder fabrics we're looking at are much more silky so this one is the Porsche Porsche silky red, red and white, so we're starting to move into white background with the bright flower as the feature. But you can see this is really, really sort of silky, floaty fabric. And then this one is the Paris silky satin. So this is really soft to touch. It's a shame you can't feel through the camera because this is gorgeous. I'd actually probably really love a nighty in this fabric because it's so silky, lightweight, perfect for those hot summer nights. So definitely on my list to make some nighties and pyjama wear out of this. And I actually really love these colours, sort of watercolour uh, flowers, bright colours but it's not too much of a bold pattern. So it all blends in really nicely. So it's a bit more of a subtle way of getting those bright colours and bright prints into your wardrobe. Now we're seeing a lot of florals, but there are some non-floral uh, bright prints as well, such as this Farley Rayon cotton. I'll just open it out. As you can see, some really bright colours. But a bit more of a, I suppose, a geometric pattern. We've got sort of almost blocks, squares in um, in here. So not floral, so we're moving away from the floral because not everybody wants to wear florals, which is totally understandable. So this has got almost all the colours in and it's really nice, lightweight, cotton voile, nice maxi dress. I can see definitely a nice maxi dress in that. It's really lightweight to touch as well. And again, it's one of those all over busy patterns but it doesn't matter where you join your seams up you haven't got to worry about pattern matching which I love about a fabric definitely I have not got time to try and pattern match my fabric but that's just me I know some people are very very good at it and love doing it but for these you don't have to worry they're great for um, if you're a beginner as well so try, try and choose a pattern that hasn't got an obvious repeat if you are a beginner sewer so like I said we've got something for everyone 
We are seeing lots of florals, but they are our non-floral bright prints as well. And they don't forget, they're all available now on the Minerva website. And if someone has made something using this and posted it to the Minerva profile, it will show up underneath the fabric, which is a great way to get inspiration. Especially if you haven't used these bright colours before, then it can sometimes be quite hard to sort of think where to start with and how to use them. Like I said, maxi dresses for this type of fabric would be perfect. Really floaty, breathable, lightweight, drapes really well. Imagine a nice swishy long maxi dress skirt and that most definitely. So let's move away from the cotton fabrics for a minute. I have got some more cotton type fabrics to go through. But also in this fabric haul, we've got some really nice drapey fabrics. So these um, next two are ripple crepe fabrics. So much more lightweight and what you would sort of, I suppose, typically think to those sort of summer dresses, summer blouse type of fabrics. As you can see, they are starting to become a little bit more sheer depending on the fabric and the, the pattern on it. So that's always something just to be wary of um, if you are starting to use these sort of sheerer fabrics. This one, um, as I said, Ripple Crepe, really nice, um, sort of toned down, I suppose, compared to some of the other bright patterns we've seen. And this one, a bit more of a deeper pattern, um, colours in here, got these really nice deep purple flowers, a little bit more all over, so there's sort of more flower coverage on here. And then we've got this one, which has got more of a pinky greeny feel. So the same fabric but in three different patterns and colourways and you can see how different they look. These sort of fabrics, um, really nice summer dress type fabrics, there's a new look pattern which I think would work really well with these style fabrics which you'll be able to see on the screen now. Especially the one, I suppose that this first one we looked at, it's a much larger pattern so to get that full effect, you probably would want a dress out of that one. Uh, sort of a small sort of top, you may just sort of lose some of that pattern. So a nice dress on the larger patterns would definitely work really well. We've also got a darker fabric. And this is a, a Georgette, so it's a polyester Georgette fabric. And it's got this really nice deep navy blue background and much more subtle colours on the top. So if the bright colours aren't necessarily for you, this is definitely something I've got my eye on. But you can see if I'm holding that up here, you can actually see it is a little bit see-through. You can start to see through that. So that is just something to bear in mind when you are making with this. Something like the Odgen Cami, and that is on my list for this summer little cami tops, summer blouses, and I've seen the Ogden cami hacked into a dress actually, which I am definitely tempted to try. So those kind of um, patterns, dress patterns, would work really well with this nice floaty fabric. They're quite sheer, like I said, so just obviously bear in mind that when you're making it, depending on what you're making, whether um, how see-through it is when you're wearing it. And there's also a linen look crepe, which is, looks just like linen. It's absolutely beautiful, really soft to touch, but it's a much more lightweight fabric than the other linen look or cotton fabric that we've seen. You can see that. And it's really nice blossom pattern all over it. So a little bit, little bit heavier than the Georgette and the other crepe because it's got that linen look to it. Really interesting fabric. I've not seen, I've not seen a look, linen look crepe before, so definitely um, 
something I'm intrigued to try and make something with. And again, like I said, if you've got a Minerva profile, please do post on there any mates you make with any of these fabrics or any fabric you buy um, from Minerva. It's a great inspiration for other sewers and also if you're looking at a fabric and people have made something in it, don't forget you'll be able to scroll down and see what other people have made. And quite often the pattern um, that they've used is also um, there for you to see as well. So really, really great inspiration on the Minerva website. A lot of those florals that we just looked at are what I would sort of describe as more traditional floral, but there are also some really nice what, ditzy flower prints as well. So uh, not quite so um, big, big patterns on there. And again, this is a really nice bright yellow background with a little ditzy floral on as the pattern and an all over pattern so really easy to use for anything perfect for those sort of cami tops and blouses so there are patterns for everyone but again if you're not into florals let's have a look at some of the other sort of options now and we've got spots polka dots because who doesn't love a spot in their wardrobe this is a cream and navy. And it's actually a viscose fabric. So really soft, not quite so sheer as the um, crepe fabrics we've just looked at. A little bit of body to it, but still drapes really well. So again, if florals aren't for you, you got polka dots, spots, things like this. This is a nice um, irregular spot as well. So it's not kind of uniformed. They're all different little shapes and sizes all over. And sticking now with the viscose fabric. So this is a viscose lawn and it's a Lady McElroy fabric. And if you look closely, there are sort of little spiral circles mixed in. These little sort of, I suppose, paint, almost like paintbrush dashes, mixture of sort of pinks and purples and a dark background. So a really nice alternative for, um, from florals, but still a really gorgeous print for spring, summer makes. And again, this is something completely different in terms of pattern. Let's just open this out. Another viscose fabric. This is from Dashwood Studios. And much more geometric on here. Some really gorgeous pinks mixed with blues and greens. So again, like I said, a completely different type of pattern and print but definitely those perfect spring summer colours. And again, if you're not into the florals, then maybe a more geometric print like this would work for you. And we've also got some completely plain fabrics. So this is an amber viscose. So just a complete solid. So you could almost use this as a lining for something or if you just wanted to stick nice, plain, simple, then this is a really nice soft viscose fabric to do for that. But actually this colour, this sort of yellowy, and this is called amber, yellowy mustardy um, colour is really, really on trend and it works with almost anything. So if you did want to use it as a lining or combine it with another fabric, I've picked this up with almost any fabric in this um, haul that we've looked at and it works really well. So that's a really nice basic solid cover to have in your fabric stash. And again, like I said, you might not necessarily want something covered in prints. So look out for the plain solid colours as well. Amber colour. 
We've also got a viscose with the same colour background, but it has got a pattern on. So it's got sort of like these palm leaves. All these kind of fabrics that we've been looking at, so the crepes, the georgettes and the, um, the viscose, something like the closet core Charlie Kafton, Kafton dress would look really nice. Perfect summer dress, I think that is, definitely. Again, this, the viscose has got a little bit more substance than the crepes and the georgettes. You're not getting that sort of um, sheerness, but still really soft, flowy, floaty fabric. Coming back now to some cotton fabric, but lighter cotton. So we've got some cotton lawns, some poplins, and this is a Liberty Tana lawn. I think it's called Magical uh, Magical Bouquet. Sticking with the yellow. Um, so it's got a nice yellow background with these really nice pink uh, flowers all over. So, so it's a hundred. It's a cotton fabric, so feels really nice against the skin. And these are much more lighter weight fabrics than you sort of. I suppose like your sort of filters cotton that you may you may know. These um, sort of lighter weight fabrics, I think, um, so By Hand London have launched some kids patterns that are based on some of their adult ones and so some of those would work really well with these sort of lawn type fabrics. I've made the By Hand London kids flora in a very similar weight fabric and it worked really, really well. With a nice lining on the on the top half. So this is complete change in colour. So back to sort of a darker background. Quite a big um, floral print over it. Mixture of leaves and sort of flowers. And again, a nice weight cotton fabric for those kind of dresses wrap dresses so uh, the LED wrap dress works really well with all these kind of uh, cotton poplins and lawns now there is something a little bit heavier that we haven't looked at yet and this is actually a cotton spandex so it's got a little bit of stretch in it so a little bit like the cotton sateens we looked at at the very start of this video. It is a heavier weight fabric with a little bit of stretch in it. I think it's like a 3% stretch or something, so it's nothing too, too bad. But it is slightly heavier weight, only slightly. Again, cotton fabrics like this are great for bag making as well and accessory making in general. So. These cotton fabrics, if you're not so sure about wearing some of these prints, things like headscarves and headbands are really, it seem to be a good accessory at the moment to make. And we're nearly at the end of this fabric haul now. I've just got the last two fabrics to look at. This is an art gallery fabric. Again, a really nice lightweight cotton perfect breathable fabric and this is a really nice light pastel colour background mixture of sort of pinks purples flashes of greens and blues a little bit of everything in there and last fabric I know we've looked at a rather lot so if you need to refresh your memory please do go back to the start and watch again another lovely cotton fabric and a darker blue background with some nice yellows and oranges flowery prints on just open that up so it's single layer so you can see some of these are slightly sheer 
the lighter weight cottons can be a little bit sheer so it's always worth thinking about that whether you need to line it depending on what it is you're making but as you can see I've left this viscose colour out just purely for the colour you can see how well it goes with quite a range of fabrics as a lining so there are always options there for linings if you do need to line your makes with anything and sometimes it's just a case of going for it if you're unsure about either a colour combination or if you are using two fabrics together sometimes the best thing is just to go for it you can overthink things sometimes but as you can see, there are so many different fabrics available on Minerva at the moment. If you are trying to plan for your spring summer makes, please do go have a look. Have a look at these fabrics that we've talked about during this fabric haul video and check out the pattern we've mentioned as well, as that always gives you some really good inspiration and ideas of what fabrics you could use as well. As I said, lots and lots of fabrics are there and hopefully lots of inspiration for you. Now, if you've seen any fabrics or any patterns that we've talked about that you like, definitely go and find them now and save them so that they are there for you to hand when you are ready to purchase them. Also, if you've got a long list of things that you perhaps now want to go and buy, sign up to the Minerva Craft Club if you haven't already because you'll get 10% off your first 12 months which is definitely worth doing if there is now lots and lots of things on your wish list. Please do follow for more videos and leave any comments or questions below, we will get back to you. Thank you so much for watching, please carry on posting your makes, we love to see what you are doing and if you haven't already got a Minerva profile, it's completely free to set up and you can start sharing all your makes with the Minerva community. Thanks again for watching and we will see you again soon.